Whoa. Did you feel that? What? Like a tremor. No. I wasn't paying attention. I hope I imagined it. Zip. Into the back. Try drifting next time. It makes faster turns. Another one. Indeed. <sighs> if you told me one day I'd be, I'd, I'm trying, what? That's, <gasps> what? Like a we and I don't, all I care about is be here, in the apiary, it's all, some, yeah, oh yeah. And more rust. You can never have too much. Two to nothing is a pretty good start. Hey, the first one didn't count. What? Why didn't it count? We hadn't started the contest. <sighs> okay, one nothing. But that's only because I know I'll win. And that is exactly what will cause your downfall. Thing. Okay, okay, beginner's luck, but watch out, it won't last. She's avoiding us. Let me know when you want to lead, all right? Sure will. We're gonna get stuffed. Did I just see that thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them. But I hope they're sparing some for others. Us, namely.
This is so slow. We're not going anywhere. So? Whoa. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay. It would seem that he's not gonna share his toy. What did I tell you? Hey! It seems like my attacks aren't landing. Maybe if we both attacked at the same time. He's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. Missed! You didn't flinch? You could have waited for me to attack. Same attack, same time. Alright. Same attack on three. Three! Red missed! We should try He's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. I got this. You block, I'll hit. It seems like my attacks aren't landing. Maybe if we both attacked at the same time. Cover me. Ugh. That looks bad. All right. Same attack on three. Three! Same attack, same time. It didn't flinch? You could have waited for me to attack. On your Miss! It seems like my attacks aren't landing. Maybe if we both attacked at the same time. <laughs> I think we found the right technique. Ready when you are. All set. <laughs> I'm sure he felt that. Three, two, one. Now! You want some more? Ready when you are. Ready. Uh, you uh, didn't flinch. You could have waited for me to attack. All set. Go, go, go. You go, girl. Ready when you are. All set. Are you all right? Ready when you are. Ready. Eat it! That looks bad. On your mark? Now! not a toy. Looks like... Alien machinery. I can't believe it. We have proof before our eyes. There exists, or has existed on Source, a form of intelligence at least as evolved as ours. Kay? This is a historic discovery. This is... Kay! What? It's ours. What? It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. Very old tech. The kind we sent out to Beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. Could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. We may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But, 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 look at what I was able to salvage. 
The anti-grav chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, it should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. So, that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah, and with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. This one is nice and ripe. Are you surprised? Hmm. Huh. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre-recorded location on the radar. Hmm. Huh. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out. Isn't that Oink? That is definitely him. That's Oink. What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> No funny business, though. Before we start fixing anything, we'll need to find the replacement parts. Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are. I am gonna kill them. I swear I am gonna kill them. Are you sure you don't want to take a break, get some fresh air? No! These bloating anti-grav chips aren't the boss of me! I still don't understand what the problem is. The problem is, there is such a thing as a standard. And the Borons who designed this drone thought it might be fun to improve this standard. Except, if you take a standard and improve upon it, you get... Two standards? Zero standard! <sighs> and so now, it looks like I have to machine these boron chips. Just so they can fit in these bloating boots. Uh, anything I can do to help? No. I'm okay. I'm done. What? But that was super quick. Well, yeah. When you have the right tools. I mean, since you were complaining, I was thinking that it would take a while. It's a matter of principle. Let's go. We'll see if these work outside. Ready to test these bad boys? I guess. What are we doing? Okay, follow the thread as usual, except this time we should be able to make it till the end.
That's awesome. You've traveled across space, but floating a few feet above the ground is awesome? Uh, awesomeness is very subjective, you. In any case, these boots are working. We should try them with that thread we weren't able to use last time. Do you remember where it was? The mapping module certainly does. All right, give me those medical plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, we'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should... Ugh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not gonna tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right. All right, as you wish. I didn't know you could also do it that way. And? Sorry I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but it'll do. You can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise and then I thought, happy anniversary. I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter. I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So, are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure, sure. Uh-huh. What is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm. Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple juice. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. To us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <clears throat> that's really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight. You hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands, that's it. Oh, <laughs> Blute, I remember. 
It was in Frozember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night... I wouldn't have caught a cold. No, but wait. You don't realize how deep this goes. That means we would never have known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. We would probably still be stuck in the apiary. Sure. But if I hadn't caught a cold, I would have never been stuck in bed for a week. And you would have never visited me for tea, with armloads of homemade cookies. And you would have never hung out with me for hours on end when I look like a ghost. And I wouldn't have fallen in love with you. So who knows? Maybe I would be living happily in the apiary with my mate. Really? The cookies? That's what made you fall in love? <laughs> in my defense, they were some excellent cookies. But no, idiot, it wasn't the cookies. It was the thoughtfulness. I was sick, my nose was all swollen, croaking voice. I was a mess. And you just showed up, without me asking. I'd only known you for barely three weeks. You took care of me. You baked me some cookies. You stayed and chatted all night, even though it was pretty clear nothing would happen. And you kept on making me laugh, even though it hurt every time I laughed. I hated you. What was it? Did you fall in love, or did you hate me? Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Kind of like salty sweet. Here, give me a taste. So, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? What is it then? Some kind of metal? No, it's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea, but I know I'm sleepy and I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> 